Today we're going to eat with no meat. Hey my friends, it's Pepperoni and look at this. Richmond, eight meat-free sausages. Seasoned frozen meat-free sausages made with rehydrated textured soya and wheat protein. And they come in this cool box. And what you do is you cut through this with a tape at the front and open it up to reveal your meat-free feast. Pan fry or oven bake. I'm going to pan fry mine for about 12 minutes. So here they are my friends, straight out of the frying pan. I fried them in a bit of olive oil, which would please subscriber Acarius Benborough. Now then, we've got some very low scratch factor going on over the top. Decent browning. They've held their form well in that pan. They haven't shrunk or anything. Remarkable. Right, let's open one up, see what it's like inside. Inside is looking perfectly fine to me, my friends. Look at this. It actually does look like a, a Richmond sausage, but with some white flecks going on in there. But it's a decent mash, isn't it? Very, very finely squashed down. The outside looks like a regular meat sausage, taking a decent colour on, and the glisten is superb. Time to check the mush factor. The mush factor is relatively good. The prongs went through that microprotein with ease and then it kept its shape. Look at this. Now one of these unporky bangers will give you just 60 calories. 2.4 grams of fat, of which 1.25 grams is saturated fat. I'm liking the way that it looks like there's some kind of claw trying to force its way out from underneath that big sausage. The smell coming off them is incredible, so I've got to get involved. Apologies for lawnmower noise, it's just that my neighbour decided to mow his copious amount of lawn at the only time I could film today. Now then it was subscriber Adam Scott who asked me to try these, so here we go. Oh yes, that actually has a, a decent lot of good stuff about it actually. The actual bite itself is really good. It's um, it's not as sloppy as a Richmond meat sausage, so it feels like a bit more quality sausage as regards the chew. The seasoning does taste like a Richmond sausage as well, but there's just one thing that stands out for me. There seems to be enough salt and pepper, etc, etc, but there's something a tiny bit sweet in these things, and it tastes like nutmeg. Let's see what a bit of ketchup does. Ah, oh, the ketchup works wonders. Yeah, it actually neutralizes that nutmeg flavor. So actually, if you banged one of these into a roll with some fried onion and some ketchup, I don't think many people would be able to tell the difference. I think Richmond need to be applauded for their meat-free sausages as it happens, because although they taste a tiny bit nutmeggy on their own, if you shoved some sauce on it, or I'm sure some fried onions, or had it with a fried egg, I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference between the meat-free version and this. Therefore, 9 out of 10 to this last bite. Mmm. So, Richmond meat-free sausages. Will I go meat-free from now on? More than I did before, certainly, absolutely. I, th I still think if I've had a really heavy night, I'm going to need some of your meaty, greasy dudes, just in a bit of bread with some butter, to get over that kind of thing. But the vegetarian ones are right up there. Well done, Richmond. Like that product. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. Great time to start lawn mowing. To go through the prongs. Oh, the mush factory is relatively not. Oh, I'm liking the way they look. They do actually. 